Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I have another blackout breakdown video, doing it like, you know, only we can, you know, as we get into it and I explain how you guys can become a more efficient player, racking up the team wipes, and you guys can in general have a lot more fun, be a bigger asset to any team that you're on. This is a very big thing because a lot of new players are coming in this December and they want to know how to be as effective to be along with their their friends that have been playing the game for a couple of months now and this is generally to help them out. Now this first play here, we're actually pushing the pyramid barn. My teammate flashes a person in the corner, says he got the flash hit marker. I know that he's down and I have to be aggressive here or he's going to die because you can pretty much instantly kill people after you down them. So I end up picking those two kills, simple team wipe, nothing major, but in those situations Situations, you want to be as aggressive as possible, especially when you know that they already have you already downed one of their enemies or they already have an enemy down on their team. So it's kind of that crunch time where it's you versus another person. Now you're not gonna win those every time by being aggressive, but it's helpful. Now with this play in general, this is one of my more favorite plays over the last couple of weeks because it's a complete mind fuck for them. I actually dipped down the side of the mountain. Unfortunately, my teammate dies because I have to prioritize healing so we don't end up losing. I, yeah, I Some people could say that they'd rather be picked up or they would rather him push, but he completely understood that I couldn't do that. I had no health at the time that he went down and I was in complete, completely incapable of doing that. But luckily, they couldn't find me, so they ended up saying, whatever, he's gone. And they started looting my teammate's body. So with that being said, I immediately decided that I was going to push back up. I wanted to be as quiet as possible, so I used dead silence. And then, you know, I was able to lay into one of the teammates. Now the second fight, it's good that I actually had as much health as possible. This is actually before the armor repair, so armor wasn't as effective. I got him, and I was able to get away with my life. Luckily, I had another, uh, another set of bandages and stuff for me to have. Uh, or trauma kit. So that was pretty dope. Now, next up, I think this clip goes on for a little bit longer. Next up, this is a play that I actually did a couple of days ago. This is as the new update came out. This was a completely aggressive move. A lot of people fly in helicopters and don't actually look down at the ground. I saw this team running. I picked up a kill right there. Noticed that one of their teammates were AFK, but I didn't want him to come kill me. I know there's still a dude down in the bushes, but I'm like, I don't know. I try to thirst him a little bit just to make sure that he can at least have an extra bit of damage on top of him. So they have to push towards him. I get sniped at I'm looking for him I barely see him laying down in the grass and then I was able to pick him up now I know that since he didn't die immediately I stopped shooting at him right there and I'm like where is he and then I look around the corner and I realize that there's another teammate right there next to me and I found everybody quick team wipe very efficient just kind of knowing where people are realizing what's going on like how many people you've downed how many people you've killed that's a very important thing so always 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 and i can't stress that enough make sure that you are completely aware of your surroundings when you're doing that now this play right here actually sucks because the game actually made most of my teammates die it was a the way the game is played in general it's kind of like if you're next to a door or if you're next to a person, that takes priority over your reload. And because that takes priority over your reload, this situation actually ended up letting my teammates get killed. And I actually felt really bad about this one, but that does nonetheless take away from the fact that everybody in this got completely outplayed. So the first kid, he was in this house already. I noticed that he was in the house. I came after him. He didn't really know what to do, and I ended him very quickly. Now the next kid is behind this door. I saw him behind the door, and then I trapped him behind the door by closing it. He got sucked into the animation for trying to close the door again and ended up losing the gunfight. I ended up having a quick second to heal as his teammate pushed up, barely saw me in the corner. The door takes most of the bullets, and I'm able to you know, get a quick punch in because I have no ammo left. So in this moment, I loot the body. I notice that he has a scar. I get flashed, so I know that I have to pick it up. I know the teammate's pushing. But I was a little taken aback because if you, you guys will notice here that my teammate actually comes inside. So I don't know if my teammate lost him or what, but the guy wasn't outside. Now at this moment, I noticed that I only have eight bullets left. So I go back over and I try to figure out if there's any bullets inside of the thing. And in this situation, this is where it gets crazy because I come in here, accidentally close the door while I'm trying to reload. Both of my teammates are going down. The revive comes up and I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to reload. I finally reload as he melees both of my teammates and I pick him up then. And that's just the absolute worst case scenario, the absolute worst situation I could have possibly been in there. And that actually sucks a lot. But, you know, sometimes things happen like that and you're just kind of like, well, you know, 
I, there was nothing I can do. But I really hope they fix things like that in the future. Next up, we have, and this isn't necessarily a team wipe or a squad wipe. This is more of a situation in which I, you know, was able to get, like, third party this really well. So this is a effective tactic if you're by yourself in a situation, like you land somewhere awkwardly. Let the other teams fight it out. Nine times out of ten, everybody else is landing there with their teams. I was able to pick up one team right there. I actually, you know, before I even threw that concussion grenade earlier, I ended up making sure that you know, his teammate wasn't coming out and I was able to pick those two up. Now this guy here that I kill, he is actually not even aware that he saw me. And that's the thing, actually being disciplined when it comes to, there's a lot of things that you'll notice that you can shoot. And that's a tip for any battle royale. You can shoot a lot of different things, but is it a good idea? That's what you have to ask yourself every single time, every single gunfight, you have to ask yourself, is this a good idea? Should I do this? Now, I notice people are on the sensor dart. I push towards this ramp. Actually, he sees me first. He ends up losing or running out of ammo and losing the gunfight. So I lucked out there. But now I know that he went down. That's the thing to take notice of. Make sure that you notice, oh, did he go down? Just because somebody is by themselves in the moment doesn't mean that they're by themselves in general. So I know that they were already in a fight with two other people. So I'm generally assuming that they're kind of preoccupied with this. He was coming back to kind of reload and get his bearings, probably heal up. And that didn't go well for him because I was there. Now I come back up this ramp and I'm just like, I wonder if he has any teammates here or anything like that. I ended up picking up some new armor and picking up a kill that I see slightly after this that and where they're in the bushes. Um, generally, I hope that these videos help you guys out a lot, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun playing the game after you guys watch these. If you guys do, you guys know what to do. Leave a like, you know, click that sub button and that bell to be notified on all of my content, and I'll see you next time.